Hi, I'm Erin, and this is our Wyoming Life. Today, Erin is going to apply the first application of fertilizer to her tomato and pepper seedlings. Fertilizing provides essential nutrients to the seedlings, and Erin is going to be using fish fertilizer. I had never heard of fish fertilizer, and honestly, after I smelled it, I wish that it had never come into my life. Hopefully, the plants like it better than my nose. I want my plants to be as healthy and as strong as they can be before they make their way into the high tunnel. One thing that I can help them with is some fish fertilizer or some fish emulsion. It's my favorite fertilizer to use on seedlings, and I will even use it on mature plants in the high tunnel and the gardens this summer. It also can be used on flowers and your indoor plants. It's super versatile, and I would definitely recommend buying a bottle of it for your gardening season. When using any fertilizer, the first thing that you want to do is read the label and the application instructions. More is not better in this case. Too much fertilizer can actually damage your plants and it's very hard to recover from that. So make sure you follow the instructions exactly. Since we are using the fertilizer on seedlings today, we are actually going to apply it at half strength. For vegetables, the label says two tablespoons per gallon. So we're gonna go ahead and use one tablespoon. The label says to shake well. This is definitely important as this product does tend to settle on the bottom. After it's shaken, I will go ahead and open it and measure out one tablespoon of fertilizer and pour it into an empty gallon milk jug. Then I'm gonna add water and fill it up. Try not to get too big a whiff of the fish emulsion. It's a ridiculously horrible smell and it looks like it came out of a kid's diaper, but the results that you will get from it are amazing. So it's worth the few minutes of discomfort. I'm going to go ahead and mix up two gallons today. That will be enough for all of my trays of tomatoes as well as my pepper seedlings that I haven't transplanted yet. Now that I'm down in the basement, I will just go ahead and pour the fertilizer into the bottom of the tray. I will make sure that the water moves to all sides of the tray so that each tomato or pepper can get a drink. Some of my tomatoes are showing some purple on the bottom of the leaves and a few yellow spots. This is actually a phosphorus deficiency. The fish emulsion doesn't have a huge amount of phosphorus but hopefully it'll be enough to help the seedlings until I can get them outside. It's really difficult to find a fertilizer that will work well for seedlings that has a high amount of phosphorus in it. All fertilizers have three numbers on the label. The fish fertilizer is a 511. These numbers refer to the nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium levels found in that particular fertilizer. Nitrogen is for the leaves, phosphorus is for the roots, and potassium is for the overall health and helps keep plants balanced. Right now, it's okay to use a higher nitrogen fertilizer because I want the stalks to get stockier and the leaves to be big and healthy so that they can make the transplant easier. When we plant into the tunnel, we will focus much more on root growth. Everything is watered and fertilized. This will give everything a little boost and help my pepper seedlings push into their true leaves a little bit faster so that I can go ahead and get them transplanted. I'm not gonna apply any more fertilizer for two weeks. It's super important to not over fertilize. It's not gonna help you any in the long run and it can actually kill your seedlings. If you're gonna use a different type of fertilizer than what I use today, then make sure that you read the label and that you apply it at its half strength for seedlings. It's 21 days until I want to transplant the tomatoes and the peppers into the high tunnel. The tomatoes are definitely going to be ready. Peppers, I just don't know. They were slow to germinate. They were slow to develop their true leaves. I'm just going to cross my fingers and hope that we make it. This just goes to show that every year is different. And even though I have a plan, Mother Nature has a different one. I'm going to do what I can to adapt and I'm just going to roll with the punches. Make sure that you subscribe so that you get all of our newest videos. Also look in the description for some of the products that we've used here today. I'm Erin and this is our Wyoming Life. <laughs>